Only people that have something to hide, I, in my opinion, have something to hide. And if there was nothing to hide, then they should have had no qualms about releasing it. Do you think the government has, in general, told the American people the truth about the, uh, about the Vietnam War? You're putting me on. This is both with the clown time? <laughs> no. I don't think that... I don't think it's just Nixon. I don't think our leaders are honest to us in any way. Mm -hmm. In any way. And we keep burning them in, bless our hearts. Let me ask you, uh, have you, if you've heard about the Pentagon Papers, either one, both of you. Yes. They mm -hmm. did. Do you think it was a good thing that the Pentagon Papers were released? Yes. Yes. Why is that? So the people should know. What's going on? Do you think the government has told us the truth about the Vietnam War? I don't think so. Well, no. Why do you think the government is bringing charges uh, in this case? Well, uh, because he took the papers away and, and there's something in there that the government don't want the, the people to know about. Why wasn't it released? Why they kept well, it? Well, uh, they don't want the people to know what's happening over there. What if the people did know? What difference would it make, do you think? They'd probably put more pressure on, on the government to stop it. It's a kind of genocide. I don't think any Pentagon papers should be, uh, I think they should be secretive. You think they should be secret? Yes, I do. Yes, could you tell me why? Why you feel that way? Well, I think uh, we, uh, we entrust the Pentagon uh, with certain things, and I think that's the way it should be. Mm -hmm. Do you think the government should uh, bring charges against Daniel Ellsberg and uh, Mr. Russo? Yes, I do. By the way, my name is Tony Russo. I'm on trial with Daniel Ellsberg. And uh, do you feel that the government should keep secrets? Well, to a certain extent, when it comes to uh, military stuff uh, for our defense and stuff like that, I think it should be secretive. What about history? And what are, you, what are you referring to when you say history? Well, for example, like the content in the Pentagon Papers, a, a history of U.S. decision-making in Vietnam. For example, the Pentagon Papers didn't have any military secrets in them. It was all um, a history of U.S. involvement in the development of U.S. policy in Vietnam. Oh, that's, that's, that's different. I thought it was all military stuff that you revealed. I didn't know anything about history. No, there's no military secrets in the Pentagon Papers. Oh, I see. Well, that changes the picture entirely. Were, were you surprised when this uh, new escalation occurred, when we started bombing Haiphong and the uh, getting well, involved? Not really. You know, I figured they should have done it a long time ago. You know, but you know, like they did with uh, uh, in Japan. You know, you drop one big bomb and get it over with. You felt that? Yeah, I feel it. Like get it over with. Have you, now, what do you think that uh, the president should do now? What would you like to see him do now? Well, I don't know. He's, he keeps uh, contradicting all his statements. He's going to pull them out, but then he leaves them in. He keeps putting more people in. And, you know. Do you think he should drop one big bomb now? Is that your... I feel that they ought to just go over and clean it up, get out of there. I like yeah. my brother. He was over there for 12 months. And, you know. Do you agree with your brother on the bombing, for example? No. No way. No way. That's that's not. Do you, do you argue with him about that? No, we don't argue. We don't talk about it. We talk about other things. <laughs> well, as as you would see it, what's the mistake in in his reasoning? That's not going to stop any war. It's gonna it's gonna plunge the whole world into a war. I was very much hawkish before I got into the service, and now I'm very much dovish. I you know I, after seeing it, I just can't. It's too much politics over what, there. What changed your thinking about it while you were over there? Mainly being over there. Did most, a lot of the people who were with you in Vietnam change their minds the same way you did? Yes. yes. What, what do you think he would do if he were re-elected? What do you think, he, what I think he would do? Yeah. Probably continue the same line he's been following. I don't think it will end. What will happen then? I think we'll destroy Vietnam. I think we'll destroy North Vietnam. Uh, eventually, I think our massive military power will result in uh, the eventual demise of Vietnam as an entity. The Vietnamese culture, I think, will be gone. And I think we'll establish a puppet state, which will make it much easier to uh, manipulate and control all of Southeast Asia. I wish I were wrong, but I don't see the results of the revelations of the Pentagon Papers 
or any of the additional papers that have come out. There seems to be a kind of unwillingness of people to respond to it, a kind of uh, shock. Do you, do you know that you smile when you say that? When I say that it will not end? It's probably a, a nervous smile, a kind of thing that animals do. Chimpanzees smile when they're frightened. Yeah, I don't like smiling when I say something like that. It's like it was very difficult, and it still is difficult for me to even accept my life, to relate it to my own children. I can't do that. I try to avoid it. I'm not always able to, and then to smile again. Uh, do you think the American people want this to happen, to destroy North Vietnam? I don't. I don't think they consciously want it, and I don't even know if they unconsciously want it. I think they don't want to know. Um, can be traced back to the Indian wars. Uh, uh, the Indian uh, wars in this country. I think that the majority of people, American or otherwise, don't want to know about destruction and torture that's done in their name easier to avoid it because they feel that their own lives have a, a very little meaning. Think it is related to the conditions of their own life? Of course it is. Why do you think the war started or is going on? I don't think it's psychological. I think it's economical. I think it's an imperialistic war. That's simple. I think we... The United States wants more land, wants more resources, and wants more control. And I think that's our history, and I think that's our future until we're defeated in some way. Do you think we will be defeated here? I'd have to ask you that question. I don't know. I think so. In Vietnam? I think that the North Vietnamese and the South Vietnamese will not lose like the Indians. It's true. This is a different kind of war for Americans, and uh, there is greater strength on the other side than anything we've ever encountered before. What do you think will happen to our country if it goes as you say, and we win in Vietnam by destroying them? Well, that's, that's why I hope you're right and I'm wrong, because if we win in Vietnam, we'll lose our own country. We're in the process of losing it. I think we'll lose our country in the sense that the class problems will be there forever. Divisions will be greater. Uh, kind of open warfare. To the extent where you'd have totalitarian government. Uh, well, see, I, I'm not even sure how much freedom we have now anyway. You, know, you think you feel there's nothing you can do to stop this? That will have a result. No, it would. For instance, the way you describe it, it can't have made much difference even in the long run to put out the Pentagon Papers if people can't act on the, that information or don't want to know it. No, because then you know, I, I then I, I say no, that's not possible. It must mean something. Perhaps it will give courage to other people <coughs> to produce other Pentagon Papers. And the more information, I mean, on the one hand, it, I do believe that the more information people have, the more control they have over their own lives. 